What's pop, lock, and dropping, honeys? It's your girl, Malaysia, checking in with you. If you are a returning subscriber, hey, poo. If you're new here, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. I know it sounds very repetitive and all us YouTubers say that, but no, for real, you don't want to miss it, okay? You don't want to miss this glow up. So yeah, tune in with me, lock in with me, baby. This is a weekly vlog. I'm a blow dry my hair obviously and I'm gonna get ready for the day I've been healing up really nicely from my BBL I can honestly say I love my results I've haven't had any complications but I'm not fully healed so girl I'm not even gonna jump to the punch or whatever they say so yeah but if you want to know what goes on in my week keep on watching and enjoy this music for the meantime <laughs> Take it away, take it away, feeling too good to me. Chilling all day, all in your space is where I wanna be. Here in this room, what did you do? I just can't get enough. Too caught up in your love. I've been trying to forget, but you won't let me. Something in my brain wants you. I've been hanging out. Hey, babe. I am chilling at the crib, cleaning up in my little white shirt. Nothing special. Mm -mm. Still back there. And I'm editing also. About to get this new video up for y'all. Got my treasure chest with everything that I record. My cameras and lights. And my food just got here, girl. And we are finna eat. I am hungry. So I'm finna tear this up. I ordered me some Indian food. I can't remember from exactly where, but I'm gonna put it right here for y'all. So y'all can try it out. I love Indian food. I haven't had this place yet, but the reviews were really good. So girl, let's get into it. So I got me a Sprite. I know I should not be drinking soda. I usually don't drink soda, but I've been having like a lot of, like, I don't know, I need to burp. So that's the main reason why I got a Sprite. I'm trying to get this gas out of me. I got some garlic naan bread. I love garlic bread. And I got, I think this is, what this was it was tiki something and then i got the lamb so hold on let me read to y'all what i actually got i got tried something new i ordered the tiki tikka masala medium spicy with lamb garlic naan and a sprite i wish i would have got a bigger bowl because this is kind of like really small but it's cool i'm gonna go ahead and still dig in <sighs> I'm gonna sit on my knees because I, I don't know. I don't like standing up, eating. Oh my like, man, forget it. I'm just gonna stand up and eat. Ooh. Let's see what this is hitting for. It's really watery. So I don't know if I'm gonna order this one again. I don't like I I thought it oh it comes with rice. Okay, so it does come with rice. I was about to get mad. <laughs> It's decent. It doesn't look too bad. And then it comes with some rice. So that's not too bad. And then my garlic naan bread. Mmm, I love garlic naan. Looks so good. Dive in. Mm. Mm. I'm thinking about dumping this into the rice. Mm. Mm. It's really good. It's not that spicy though, so I think next time I'll get very spicy. Mm, throw some rice in there. I'm not big on dieting. I'm gonna eat what I want. I'm gonna work out this time around. Mm. And I didn't even get big last time. I just got, you know, I, know, I got a little weight on me. But all the weight was going to my butt. And girl, last night, someone told me I have a wagon. You don't know how happy I was. I was like, I have a wagon? Like my booty? Like really, are you serious? I was so happy. Someone said, BBLs kill. Sis, sad face. Okay, so does food. 
So does going to the store. People got assassinated going in, in Frisco just for going to an outlet. So do hoverboards. Hoverboards have killed people, they blow up. So does water. Water kills people too. A lot of things kill people. So hey, I mean, if people wanna do something, if you wanna eat food and risk dying from diabetes or whatever, you know what I mean? Well, let me not say that because that was not like cool, but. Mmm. 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 I love Indian food because the spices, like, I mean, the flavors and just all that stuff, just everything they use, like, and it's so simple. Like, the meal, it's rice, meat, and bread, and they made it taste so good. I mean, technically, tortilla, but because of their seasoning, it tastes like heaven. Mm. And I can't eat too much because I do still have my waist trainer on, and I can feel when I get full. So I'm not even gonna be able to eat all this. Ooh, and I'm trying to get heartburn too, so I'm about to stop. Ooh, the heartburn. Ooh. Mm. This bitch gonna have to stay up. Oh, Neiman's is right here. I said I didn't know Neiman's was right here. It's close. Yo, this would be so cute for my laptop case. That's cute. All right, y'all, so that was an epic fail. My ass is way too big for Nordstrom clothes. Or maybe I just have to find a designer that works good for me. But my hips, are not fitting in anything like my butt comes out like like the back my back pussy starts coming out so like if I bend over so I'm kind of irritated because now I have to find clothing brands that fit my new shape and it's kind of irritating because couldn't find anything to wear so Hopefully, I have something to throw on at the house. Let me find my friend. Excuse me. So yeah, and then I just honestly, I honestly just realized how big my butt is. For some reason, I didn't think it was that big, but girl, it's big. <laughs> I'm gonna check in with y'all here later once we leave. So I love my closet. It's so big, but it's a little dirty right now, so excuse me. I do want to eventually redo my closet and get some cool cubicles for like my shoes. Just redo the whole thing, girl, because it's not really all that cute. I honestly just started buying clothes and investing in my look in 2022. I used to be the type of girl that would get money, go home, and that's it. Like I would not invest in myself. That's why I don't have any designers. That's why you just now start seeing me buying designer purses, buying designer shoes. That was never something that I was into. I never felt the need to go and do that in order to impress anybody. So, but I do understand that your look really matters. It's more than just having a pretty face and having a good fashion sense in this life will get you far, especially when you're a content creator. Being a content creator, it's all about details. So I'm excited for this new chapter of my life and me starting to invest more in my aesthetics. So girl, I hope y'all like the journey and let's listen to some of this music until the next clip. Usually I don't post. Usually I don't post, but 
I want the world to know Time to pull a drop top out Summer nights, it's a vibe, yeah We been keeping it in the house Netflix and chillin', I GDMing, yeah Didn't wanna share my love Till I found someone I'm sure of Young and untamed I've been out of range, keeping it low But I wanna be bold with it Don't care what we told about it Wow, baby, gotta hold on it Don't let love unfold tonight Don't be calling us gold you know Probably could see me you probably can but I'm headed to Walmart right now let me turn this light on so y'all could probably see me like a little probably gonna be a little orange I don't know but um girl I'm headed to Walmart real quick to get me some deodorant and some trash bags and I'm gonna go ahead and grab some napkins I'm about to run out um, that's about it. I'm not really doing nothing else. Oh yeah, I'm gonna link up with my homegirl, Tati. Y'all get to meet Tati because y'all still haven't met her yet. I've been talking about her for a while. I'm going to link up with her. I'm horrible at linking up with people. Like, I just have a lot of stuff that I need to be doing versus hanging out. Like some people just have way too much time to hang out and I really don't have time like that to be hanging out Like I have actual stuff. I be doing all day literally Tasks that take time. Oh, I cannot do this fucking BBL pillow stuff. Oh So annoying. is that somebody laying on the floor? Oh, I thought a homeless person was laying on the floor. Oh, no, they're gonna have to move them out of here to put your seatbelt on though uh, the reason why i'm not putting my oh no it's traffic right there at this time why thank goodness i saw that because no thank you let's go this way and find another walmart too too but uh i'm not putting my seatbelt on because my hips right now are just no I feel like that seatbelt is going to compress my fucking hip in and leave me a dip and I'm not with that so but I do need to focus real quick and find me a Walmart to go to so let me do that
Yeah, I gotta get out of this pool too. Is this pool close too? It is, but I mean, I, I didn't see you. Okay, we're back. I didn't see you neither. <laughs> crazy when people can't swim. So let's go over here because it's way better lighting. My camera cut off way out earlier when I was talking to y'all um, about my day. It was instead of day in the life, I decided to do night in the life with me. Because so I feel like y'all are always with me during the day. And yo, know, this side of the pool is not, well, I think it's just pieces of the tree. Okay, it's just pieces of the tree, so it's not too bad. So I get really scared of dirty water. Like, it grosses me out. So I need a shoe. Clean the water a little bit. Mm -hmm. Excuse my eyelashes. I haven't gone for a fill yet. I plan on going for a fill here in, like, in a couple days. So I wanted to do a night in the life with me because I feel like y'all are always with me during the day and during the day is cool, but you know, my nightlife is pretty decent also. I stay up pretty late um, drinking. I am a day drinker. I like to drink necessarily during the day just because at night I get sleepy because I smoke. I am a herb smoker, so I wake up smoking herb and go to sleep smoking herb, so I get sleepy pretty fast. Like, you know, about 10, 11 p.m. I'm ready to turn in. So, and very few times do I drink at night. I'm stressed out tonight, so that's really why I'm drinking. Um, this side of the pool has like all of the tree, like the tree buds in it. So y'all saw me swimming backwards earlier. Honestly, like, that's scary for me. Like when I float, I don't know why, but every time I float, I feel like there's a shark or an alligator behind me, like just ready to jump in the water and bite my head off. So, 
y'all might like see me sometimes looking behind me and stuff and like i know there's no alligators around here so i don't know why i get that feeling like when i float i'm like oh my god wait an alligator or shark is gonna creep up on me but so I think I'm okay in this pool, but when I'm at people's pools, girl, you never know. The habitat bring all type of animals to you. But yeah, girl, I hope y'all can hear me really good with this mic on this camera. <sighs> Salute to anybody having a stressful night. Honestly, like I'm really blessed, but um, I've been dating and Ooh, what was that? A grasshopper just flew? I don't understand how grasshoppers can fly. They don't be hopping, they be flying. But, girl, I got into it with my significant other and I'm not married. I know I've had some people ask me about my ring. And honestly, I this is like a promise ring. So I'm not engaged or anything like that. It's more so just like a promise, you know, to myself that um, the next person that I take interest in or, you know, just for myself, it's like a promise to myself. So I got this ring for myself. Um, that pretty much the next person that I take interest in, I'm gonna take them seriously and I'm going to devote myself, you know, to their relationship because when you meet good people, no matter what, when you keep meet good people, you always want to keep those people close to you. And sometimes pride takes over and you meet good people and push them away because you're too prideful to, you know, admit that you want them in your life and, you know, that you want to fix whatever it is that they are upset about. Because I'm really bad at that. I'm very selfish. I can honestly admit that I'm a very selfish person, but um, it's just because I'm, I've always been by myself, so I always put myself first. So I'm just kind of like learning to start thinking about other people's feelings and consider, you know, other people, how they may feel about the things that I'm doing and start taking my rela relationships more seriously. I want to see if my cup can float. It's floating, no fucking way. My cup's floating. Is it gonna sink? It's floating. Let's go, look, look, my cup is floating. Look. Hey, I can see I'm a float. Let's go, I love it. to keep my area of the pool clean like no go over there go that way y'all go that way people okay so back to what i was talking about so basically i got into it with my significant other so we both kind of just like we've been just dating like i've just been dating i've been dating only one person though um recently only has someone else come into my life and that person, you know, I told that person that I was, you know, seeing someone else very seriously or whatever. And only recently has someone else came into my life. But me and that person didn't really work out. And that's okay. I gave it a try. Um, but I'm kind of glad that happened. Because that made me realize, like, this person that I have in my life is more than likely the one for me. Because this person accepts me for who I am. And they know my past, they know my present, they know the things that I've done and that I'm doing in order to, you know, secure my life financially, even though I'm more than just that, I'm more than just a hustler, you know, and that person understands that. So, and I really appreciate that because some people, you know, when you're getting money, they forget that you are also a person. So, I really appreciate the fact that this person has always kept 
me in mind. You know, it has kept me in mind. So I'm just kind of realizing. Hey. distracted by my apartment but um yes girl so we got into it it's just you know it happens no relationship is perfect and I'm glad it happened because it kind of taught us both something about each other and I feel like when you get into arguments it either is gonna make you or break you it'll either make your relationship better or it's going to completely tear you apart. So I'm really glad that we got into it because it made me realize that I really do want this person in my life and that for the first time, I'm willing to fight for something that I love and not something that I really want because most of the time I'm very prideful and I don't care. Like I don't care if if it's over with, it's over with, but I, you know what I mean? I'm always the first to chunk up the deuces and just completely disappear. I've done that all my life, most of my life. Only because of, you know, my family background. So I finally, you know, I'm glad I met this person because this person has made me realize I can't do that with everybody. Some people you really will never meet again. And, boy, I think I'm in love. I think I love someone like I really do. And all this now, we gotta go. Let's go over here, girl. I can't do this no more. First, let's take our shot. Like all the little buds from the pool are like keep coming to me, and it's just disgusting. probably all in the pool I just like in that area they're the most so right, right here isn't too bad whatever but yeah girl so it's time to fight for love and I think that's what I'm gonna do for the first time ever I'm going to just go ahead and take a bet on somebody because I think that's always been my downfall my whole um, since I've been dating, like I've only started dating when I was 27, so, so I've only been dating for two years now. And um, of course, I've dealt with people, like dealt with guys who, but never been in like a serious relationship or, you know, like been in love with somebody or anything like that. Um, of course, I've had guys that I've dealt with, but we were never serious about each other. It was just like, okay, I'm gonna hit you up and I wanna fuck. And that's it. Ew, I just can't do this. Ew. I, the water's supposed to be clean. And all this stuff keeps coming to me. Stop. So nasty. Mm. Mm. Come on. Yeah, I think I'm gonna get out this pool because I just it's too dirty for me. There's stuff floating everywhere. But um Yeah girl. So I'm gonna do that finally give somebody my all so i think it's, it's that time for me i'm 29 i'm gonna be 30 next year oh my gosh and i don't want to go into my 30s like still looking for love or whatever all because i want to be a mean ass bitch um so yeah and i still can't believe i'm going into my 30s it's honestly not even a big deal like people make it I feel like when you turn 30, if you're still looking at your life like, oh my God, then you've definitely wasted your 20s on things that were not priorities. But I'm satisfied with where I'm at in my 30s. We're gonna be in my 30s. Like, 
by 30 i feel like everything will be in place that i'm working for right now all the steps that i'm making to better my future everything i'm waiting for like everything right now that i've been doing is processing so i feel like by my 30s everything will be set in stone and i'm really excited for that for me <sighs> it's been a long time coming girl but i think it's time to get out this pool because i'm honestly i can't concentrate because there's so much shit floating around so we're just gonna go ahead and get out and i enjoyed the little swim but i'm good looks like flies are like swimming everywhere y'all so i just got in the car i'm sitting on my bbl pillow right now i'm gonna go get a car wash first because my car is dusty crusty <sighs> i gotta sit with my seat all the way up because i have the bbl pillow that's under my thighs i don't like the bbl pillows that you have to sit on your butt because there's literally no cushion like there's a little bit of cushion the bbl pillow that i have it goes under your thighs that where your butt is sitting like like okay so this is the pillow right here these are your thighs and this is your butt so your butt be hanging like off of the pillow and your thighs are here so your butt's not touching anything. And then I scoop my seat up some because it's uncomfortable. So I have my waist trainer on. It is hot, my hair looks really good. I'm gonna go get some products, but I need to hurry up because the lady that I like to go and get my, the beauty supply I like to go to, she closes at like seven or six, I think. This is my at-home sauna. I love it, I got it off Amazon. This is the tank that you put the water in. It's on 27 minutes, so I'm pretty sure as you can see it's really steamy in there already. Yeah. So I'm about to get in. If it gets too hot, I'm gonna open this up and let some of the steam out. But for right now, girl, this is what I need. I've been needing to come sit in here. I haven't sat in my sauna for a while.
don't really want to hear this song though. I guess I could turn my Bluetooth off and let y'all hear it. Your girl Melida today checking in with y'all. So it's about like seven in the afternoon, in the evening. I just got done doing my lymphatic massages and my cavitation to get my body more snatched after my surgery. And I'm also about to do my hair and invite one of my homegirls over so we can have a little bit of girl time. And I'm also about to spark up. So if you got your little, you know, joint, Go ahead and stack up with me. I don't have anything too big. I honestly just have a little something something. But something is better than nothing, right? Let's get y'all back here to my room. So I'm not a big backwood smoker personally. I like to smoke papers and I don't know. Backwoods are dope though. I do like to smoke backwoods. I like it when somebody knows how to roll a backwood. I like me a nice big backwood in the morning. It always hits different than a joint, but we're smoking a joint right now. I'm gonna go ahead and put y'all right here. So this is just a little video just so you know. I'm just doing my hair, freshening myself up a little bit, just, you know, feeling good for the evening. So if you're not doing anything, you're just chilling in the crib, and you're smoking, this is a video for you. So I'm going to crimp my hair. I'm not gonna straighten it. I was gonna straighten it, but I don't really feel like, I don't know, I've had my hair straight for days now, and I kinda just wanna put a little bit of wave in there. Now mind you, I don't have my Faha on right now, which I it's okay because you could be out your Faha for about like an hour a day or so. And my Faha is a medium because my hips and my butt is kind of like really big right now. So it's not like too much of a bad thing. I do have my waist trainer on. So boop, boop, boop. You can kind of see the hips back there hipping. I'm gonna go ahead and just run through and do my hair because my homegirl has been waiting on me to come over and I've been trying to get with her. I'm trying to get better at hanging out with people. I'm horrible at making the effort to hang out. I'm an introvert. So I have ooh, really bad habits of wanting to be by myself all the time. And that is why I get along ooh, with Gemini's so freaking much. Like me and Gemini's, literally love each other not even love to hate each other we just like love to love each other because we don't even want don't like even care to be like it's weird like love to be around you don't care like too much when i'm not because i know i'm gonna see you eventually because we're the only ones that get each other or maybe that's just me being an introvert and i just get along with a lot of introverts but lately i've just been getting along with a lot of gemini's like i really get along with Gemini's but I've been getting better at hanging out answering the phone texting back trying to make my friends happy in a sense because if it was up to me I would just be by myself all day with my dogs and the man 
who is not annoying me at the time. <laughs> and just smoke weed and just be. But you, know, you have to interact with people so in order to live life. So I've had to incorporate that into my routine, answering the phone, texting back. And it's cool. I like it. I'm I like in the fact that my friends kind of understand that I'm not really like I'm not a good friend, like I'm learning to be a good friend because I don't care too much. Um, I literally don't care, like your problems are your problems, my problems are my problems. I never bring my problems to anybody because I don't expect anyone to care. So I always handle things by myself. I don't ask for help. I'm very self-sufficient, I'm very resourceful. I'm independent, but I'm also, I know how to, you know, let a man be a man and also to be dependent on someone who is that of you know a provider but being you know a lone wolf it's you know, interacting and socializing with people is like you know obviously something you have to do because you have to make money at the end of the day so you have to socialize but more so having friends like actual friendships relationships because i more so just have associates like people that already know like i'm in and out their life where it's like it's beneficial you know like if we're not benefiting each other what are we like around each other for so i'm more you know i'm very good with my associates and minding the business that pays me but of course I'm wanting to get out of that because I want to have friends and you know of course on girls night when I want to have stuff to do I don't want to just have you know one girl that I'm going out with or just going out with my homeboys because I don't really have no girls or going out with girls that I barely know because I don't even like bother to text them back so I'm getting better at that and I fuck with that side of me like it's, it's dope you know and I'm not drinking anymore so that was also my big downfall was drinking. Like me and tequila don't go together. Like I could drink some Henny and some champagne and some wine, but tequila is a big no for me. Like I will fight someone at the end of the night or fight the wall. Like literally it gets really bad. So I decided to completely stop drinking tequila, which isn't hard for me. I'm not like addicted to it because that was definitely messing up you know how liquor can be but it takes you to admit it for things to change and I had to admit the fact that you know me and tequila no 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 thank you and I don't like the person I become when I drink I'm so cool when I'm sober and I know that and everybody knows that but once liquor comes in the equation mm -mm. It's a wrap, and I'm good on all that. I'm gonna tell him next time I go and get my weave done that I don't want any leave out in the back. Because I hate this little bit of leave out, because it's like, my hair is like right here, because I had cut it to here, it's grown a lot. But like, it being so short in the back and being so long, it just looks so funny. And I'm like, I don't wanna deal with it. And I'm forced to tap it with some heat because it's just all there and curly so next time i'm going to tell him to not put anything there no leave out only at the top and i'm using this cara care oil i don't recommend using this oil if you're going to straighten your hair because it's really heavy but for waving, I highly recommend using oil. I hate dry waves, it's so ugly. Waves are supposed to look like waves, like you swim in. So if it's nice and oiled up, it will look really good. Versus being all dry and shit. But yeah, girl. Mm -hmm. See, that's way cuter. If it been it being all dry. 
But I just got done doing my cavitation with my little machine. I didn't record myself doing it because it was my first time, which I guess that's kind of like the perfect time to record yourself doing something because it's kind of like spontaneous. But I more so wanted to be able to teach y'all something. So I didn't record myself using it, but I love it. I felt like something was actually done and I'm excited to keep using it. And I got a lot of... Um, I didn't just get that machine. I got a lot of different things for my stomach. And I also ordered some cream for my hips, which I'm really excited to use because I do have hip dips, like from this fat grafting to my butt. Like, girl, I do have little dimples and stuff. Ooh, my knee. And I don't necessarily like it because, like, you can really see it. It's like a dent in my booty. <laughs> but um, it's nothing that can't be fixed. That's really why I'm not tripping because it's kind of, I guess it's cellulite. So I guess I have cellulite now. And, yeah, I have cellulite. It's like literally right there. Oh, oh. What is happening to my ass? Oh my God. Girl, I got cellulite. <laughs> I don't know how to feel about this. I'm gonna use that machine on my thighs tomorrow. I literally have dimples in my bike, thighs and stuff. I mean, it's not like a big deal. I'm not saying cellulite is bad because I know women have cellulite. But it's like where I went from having a muscular booty <laughs> to an, a da -ba donk -a donk Do you know that I went out the other night? And do you know somebody told me I have a wagon behind me? When I say I almost like cried, I literally was like, thank you, Jesus. I'm like me? I have a wagon behind me? <laughs> thank you, doctor. For real? Like, I have the wagon? What? Muscular booty where? Who got the muscular booty? Not me. You probably do, but not me. You probably do. That's okay, though. We need one muscular booty in the group. But it ain't gonna be me, though. Uh, uh, uh. See, like, I love this booty cheek. This booty cheek's so nice and round. And then this booty cheek motherfucking got fucking cellulite. And then this hip is nice and perfect and then this hip got a mother like girl when i tell you this shit ain't easy like you really couldn't believe it the issues It's not even bad, it's just, you know, I like am very into perfection. So it's great job. Like he did a great job. Like I can't like complain. Um literally. Cause all from now all that can happen is like my body just keep getting better. My heaps keep form my hips keep forming. Because um, you know, this is my first time ever in my life having hips. So I'm not expecting it to be perfect. Um, I'm not expecting for it to be perfect the first time around. Just like my butt, you know, when I first got my BBL, my butt wasn't, you know, perfect. Um, I still saw room for perfection. Well, most people do with their first BBLs, you know, see like, you know, they want more, want something different or want a little bit of a change or something like that. Just with anything. 
There's always room for improvement, but my butt over time got better. Like my butt started look was like really nice. Like for my second BBL, people were like, what? Like you're gonna go get another BBL? Like why? But now they see why, because I didn't have any hips. And so now like I have hips, because I really didn't need much butt. But of course with him giving me hips, it obviously is gonna give me more butt naturally. But um, so this one is really round. I love this side, but my right side kind of looks a little different. It looks like more of a slant. It's not as round. Um, which I'm not really, I was, it's kind of irritating sometimes, but, um, I do know that it's fixable and that it's not a big deal. So I did order me a cream that is supposed to help with hips and butt. Um, it's, it's a natural, um, plumper. So I'm going to, I bought some and I'm going to use it because it's funny because like this hip is dipping but this butt cheek is perfect and this hip is nice and round but this butt cheek has a little dimple in it so it's just like you know it's okay though like i'm not tripping because when i take my clothes off i mean like my masseuse and everybody's like damn he did a good job so i'm not too much complaining but still you know, you always want perfection. But I'm gonna stop talking to y'all and I'm probably gonna just check in with y'all when I'm done with my hair because I do need to hurry up and finish my hair and go to the store and go get some trash bags since I forgot. And I'm gonna go ahead and grab some napkins also while I'm there since we're about to run out and some deodorant and some more conditioner. Um, So yeah, I'm gonna check in with y'all. <sighs> hey y'all, I just got back from Walmart. I'm so miserable right now. I'm gonna put y'all down for a sec. I'm so miserable right now. Like, first of all, let me wipe my top off because it has a deodorant stain on it. My date's gonna come pick me up, y'all. In the Betty. I excited, I excited. Okay, but I'm miserable as hell right now because this, this, you don't understand. This is not a joke. This is not a joke, okay? Oh, just like your weave. You're like, uh, uh. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. It feels good. Oh, I'm so miserable right now. Oh, my gosh. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Mm, 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 mm. You have no idea. You Let me wash my hands. I'm about to make me a sandwich because I am, in fact, hungry. I'm not cooking tonight. My date is on his own. He got to buy his own food or whatever's going on because he's not married. And that's not my man. So he's on his own. And I have to pee real quick. I'm supposed to be outside. Like, I'm supposed to be outside. Like, I'm supposed to be outside, outside, because I'm just, like, really that girl. But I really don't be. I be inside. I was outside last year, and it was cool. But even then, like, I have issues. Like, I'm the type of girl that will literally go out to and look so good and not let nobody talk to me. I think at the future event, I was really open. I was getting numbers. And, girl, tell me why I didn't text my one person back. I didn't text one person back. 
And there was some handsome men getting at me. I don't know. It was honestly because my interest is already with someone else. And so when I'm interested in somebody else, I really just can't give other people my time. I don't care what kind of car you drive. So of course I have standards, but still if I'm into somebody, I'm into them and that's that. So I really love this two piece that I'm wearing. Like it's really, really cute. It's giving for sure. But when my date gets here, I'm gonna take my waist trainer off for a little bit. I'm gonna wear it throughout the night. It's best to wear it seven, eight to 10 hours a day. I've definitely been wearing mine for 10 hours, pretty sure. Um, but you know, I just like to go above and beyond because I'm not going through this lipo stuff again. Because lipo, all that is, I think, what really can kill people. I don't think arm lipo and thigh lipo is what's killing people. So, um, and I don't know, I don't want to have that many lipo sessions. I, this is my second one. I feel like it's not, shouldn't be that hard to keep the fat off my stomach. So, mmm. Make me a sandwich, girl. I am starving. I actually, I'm going to eat a donut. No, no, no. I'm going to say the donuts for the morning. I need to make me a sandwich. And Cairo, I'm going to beat your ass one day, but not right now because I don't have time. He keeps peeing, so we're gonna get Papa Cairo a cage because he cannot seem to hold his piss anymore. He cannot seem to keep it together, so I'm done giving him chances. I'm over him right now. I'm very disappointed in him, but mama's got these long nails and I'm not about to break a nail on his ass. And I gotta get a new camera because as you can see, those lines are not supposed to be like that. So I need to get a new camera. Hmm, because when the light's on me, it doesn't do that. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and switch this camera out and get a new one, it's definitely time. I'm guessing something is wrong with the lens. That's fine, like we have, I have insurance on this camera. But I'm about to clean up Papa Cairo's pee real quick. I'm over him, like I'm so done with this shit. balcony i take you out the, i leave the door open for you fine give you a cage water's up at eight since you can obviously not be a grown man in this house and you want to be a little boy mommy will treat you like a little boy <sighs> i gotta get a new camera that is not okay y'all i think this is the first time i ever got an instacart order and it didn't have any issues so here's all the groceries. Let's go ahead
don't want to hear shit about nobody talking about my aquafina water. I got some coconut water. Okay. Because I swear it'd be the people who are not influencers that be always talking the most shit. Like, girl, go make you a YouTube channel. Hey y'all, it's your girl Malaysia. Thank you so much for watching my channel. Don't forget to subscribe so you can be one of the first to be notified when I drop a new vlog. Don't forget, scared feet don't eat and a closed mouth won't get fed.